80% परसेंट ऑफ द कंपनी आर यूजिंग बेसिकली दी एक्सेल शीट ओके प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट सो वी हैव सक्सेसफुली वेरीफाइड द डेटा ऑल्सो ऑन दी यू आई ऑल्सो सो राइट नाउ इफ यू हैव एक्सेस टू यू आई देन यू कैन यूज इट इफ यू डोंट हैव वट यू विल यूज इट वेलकम गाइज वेलकम वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ द लाइव एपीआई टेस्टिंग विद पोस्टमैन राइट वी आर लर्निंग हाउ टू बेसिकली परफॉर्म ए एपीआई टेस्टिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच दिस इज पार्ट टू वेयर वी आर डूइंग ए प्रोजेक्ट टू ऑल्सो राइट वेयर आई एम वर्किंग वी आर वर्किंग ऑन ए एपीआई और ए प्रोजेक्ट विच यू कैन एड टू योर रिज्यूमे ऑल्सो विच इज जनरल स्कूल पार्ट वन आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड वेयर इन दी स्टेप वन वी हैव फिगर इट आउट ओके वट आर द डिफरेंट एपीआई विच आर अवेलेबल पब्लिक एपीआई फॉर एक्साम्पल एड यूजर इज अवेलेबल गेट यूजर इज अवेलेबल डिलीट यूजर इज अवेलेबल अपडेट यूजर इज अवेलेबल यू कैन एनरोल टू ए कोर्स यू कैन डी एनरोल टू ए कोर्स ऑल दिस एपीआई आर अवेलेबल हाउ टू बेसिकली कन्फिगर इन दी लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू एड दिस टू योर पोस्टमैन सो हियर इन दिस केस वी हैव यूज ए जेसन पेलोड वी हैव बेसिकली एडेड and in the header section we have discussed that it is using a api authentication we have added and this is the school name we have discussed and the body and we are able to successfully add our first student to this right and here if you see right this is the id which is coming right this is a id which is coming so what you can do is you can add this id to you can write a test case right so now how to write the test case promoter which are important and how where to write please let us know so how to import let me show you one more import for example if you want to import get all users right get all users is basically simple request just copy this right and uh, click on here create a new request you can create a new request also if you want to right and just put your url what else we need is headers make sure you add the headers and after that here you just need to change the uh, what we call the school name school name is s dat and the co and i'm going to give you a api key also that you can use free of cost and see what are the different students are available here if you see there are two students which are available if you see what is the total count total students we have promote right this is the id very unique id by the way and this is so here it is telling you we have total item is equal to 2 which means two students are available into this total students are available now what you can do is how to write the test cases for it right right pramod sir please let us know what are the different test cases we can write here you can see i have written some good number of test cases right what are these see what i would recommend for the test cases here if you see right the first one the most important one that you should write okay let me put it here the most important test case is here if you see right i have written some couple of them automation is the need of the hour this is a wake up call for the manual testers if you want to convert to automation job ready automation tester batch is now live four months live batch saturday sunday we are going to learn about core java api automation and web automation link is in the description do check it out all the projects are live will the 24/7 doubt sessions on sd.club check out the more details the first test case we should be your status code you should verify the status code after that what you need to verify is your data fields after that you need to verify that they should not be null they should be a data type what are the different data types that you are basically getting which means what i am trying to say is every data type that you are basically getting for example here we are getting response code and this is a message you should verify this message here if you see right we have written a pm dot expect right if you don't know what how to write this i in the my api testing series i have discussed right how you can use a pm object dot expect right and how to write this code this is verifying that this message should be a success should be a string that's what we are verifying and here we are verifying that data is basically a object it is a very important thing and all these things right it should be an array here we are discussing that it should be an array and contains at least one item at least one student should be there all these test cases are written basically specifically suppose now you say that okay promoter i don't know how to write test cases postman is your friend in the right hand side you will see an option which is write scripts from postbot click on the add test and automatically a ai will write a test cases for you this is a very interesting feature in post man and if you noticed all the test cases are written by the ai and now you can basically verify also right so i have just copy pasted the all the rest rest of the code but how to do this manually right in our company promoter but how we are doing in company in companies generally what we have is we generally have something called as a test management tool which is basically assigned to us right either you guys are using a excel sheet for example like this i will share this template right this template basically contains all the test right or uh, how it it is a industry standard template what are the different scenarios we have and how to create a user create user test cases we have generated and all the important column i have mentioned here so you can reuse this template whenever you are comfortable right so this is a manual test cases that you have written and how you, similarly if you are not using a excel sheet 80% of the companies are using basically the excel sheet okay please remember that but sometimes people are using some test management tool like zephyr 
practi test and other things right so they generally put their test cases here every test case if you see right it you will add, you will add here what is the precondition and everything in your test cases and they will execute their test cases in the test cycle if you want to know more about the fire just type the fire i will basically create a video around how to use the fire properly and how to write test cases just comment down below and if you need a similar kind of project for automation right just type automation in the comment i will do a automation live project in front of you so that you can understand how this things how api testing web automation is doing people are doing on the different companies which are very very beneficial for freshers manual testers as well as no 90 person who want to jump to automation or software testing okay so here cycles they have created and this is how the execution will happen here in this case so test plan last time i have discussed to you template is available in the description you can check it out here is the folder this folder basically contains all the postman collection so i have added the postman collection here if you see right all the request for now what i will do is in the update request if you see right uh, here we have update so i what i am doing is whatever the id whatever the id user generated right whatever the id is generated i am going to store this id into a environment variable here i have basically used a environment variable if you want to see the environment variable right here is a environment variable which is available general environment variable here is the updated id which we are using and what we are doing is we are updating the same updating the same so if you update this see what happens right now we are getting a bad request so it means uh, we need to change our school first of all because i was using my pers personal school so i just need to use a new token click on refresh and here you will see 200 okay which means it basically means we are able to do a put request which means this id this name should be changed let's see if it is done or not yes so if you see the name is changed to amanji datta so we have successfully verified the data also on the ui also so right now if you have access to ui then you can use it if you don't have what you will use is you will basically verify by using the get user list in the get user list you will verify that amanji is basically changed or not for this id this is how you basically verify in this cyber side in this case right this is how also you can do so now promoter i am clear so basically what we are doing is this project now we have created a full crud i want to delete you can delete this also if you want to delete see right now we are getting bad request which means our headers are not correct so let's change the headers right and this let's make this header say click on save don't forget to save so user successfully deleted it means if you refresh here successfully deletion will happen by using the api see the user is deleted good it means our api is absolutely working fine yes or no so what you need to do after this is you need to export so just export this into a v2 click on export right and you can download it and also go to your environment variable click on export export button and download them into a folder what you need to do is just download them into a folder you can keep it like this let me show you so you you can see i right now i have a environment variable and this is my project postman collection right what you need to do is if you have uh, already newman installed into your system for example you can install newman if you want to there are instruction given how to install newman into your machine if you have just download the node js install into your command line i have discussed this through our second third video in my testing academy i have discussed how to install newman if you don't know let me show you how we go to video section go to our channel and here you just type newman right and here you will see how to install newman and everything just install the newman newman allure report also right this is the second plugin you need to install the moment you install this and what will happen is the moment you install after that what you need to do two commands you just need to create which is just use this command which is newman run your live project right and followed by minus e minus e is for the environment variable and report will be allure report after you are done with this there will be a folder generated you can see this folder there is a folder with the allure reports or allure results is generated right and after that what you you just need to re, uh, run this command which is allure sir results and the moment you open this you will find there is a report also generated side by side so you can see there is a test cases which are generated so here you can see see all the test cases which are generated and all the collection that you are able to successfully run and this report you can now share with your qa manager and everything and now you can also add this to your project also so import second step 
step was importing the projects, write the flows, create a end to end flows, write your test cases, convert them into a postman and get the report. This is how you can do the project number two. I hope you have liked this. Give me yes in the chat promoter. I liked it. If you need third project also that you can add to your projects. I am basically creating a series where all the API test API projects that you can add to your resume, right? I will be keep on doing it. If you need that, give me part three in the chat. And if you need for automation type automation in the chat, I hope you have liked it. If please don't, uh, please don't forget to give a like and share this video as much as possible because this video can help you to add a project into your resume also. Now the last one thing which is remaining is here I have because discussed is make sure you watch the part one live part one uh, for the API. I hope everyone has seen it here in this case this part API testing we have got almost like uh, uh, 100k views. So this was the first part one and this is the upcoming part two with the project two. If you want to uh, if you have not seen the part one where we have done one project you can watch this. This is uh, very very important for you to watch right. I hope you have liked it. All the documents and everything will be available. Uh, all these things will be available. If you have any doubt, let me know. I will try to give you a instruction cyber type also how to use this, how to prepare a test plan, test cases, the fire, how to basically create a collections and everything, right? I would request you if you have still doubt, the most important thing is watch the playlist, go to playlist section and watch, watch the API testing with Postman full series. If you see Postman series uh, we have covered, here is a series API testing with Postman 42 videos. I would recommend you to watch it. And now you can add here this project to your system. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to type the comment automation or part three. We'll do more projects. Thank you. Bye-bye.